Okay, let's have a look at our positional play again. Just nice and steady. And let's uh, stick with this tried and tested for now. Develop the knight, attack in the pawn. Wouldn't usually take it anyway, so we'll castle. I'm not sure about them apples. Okay, so let's attack this bishop. Let's take back. He's feeling comfy because he's got a little bit of a sting. Let's just bring the bishop here. Two, two on one support. Maybe get the rook here if he's not castling. Try and exchange through to the king. But you never know what's going to happen in the game. So for me, it's about at least I'm understanding now what the opponent's attempting to do. You know, it's little things like little two on ones here. They identify weak areas and then the, the knight's gone backwards. It's gone out to come back in. I think he's coming here to attack our bishop, <clears throat> to get the bishop off of the line. Our white square bishop's not doing anything in a minute. We could reverse our knight, attacking their bishop, but then I'm moving away from my king. So I'm going to bring my bishop here, because I know that's where he's wanting to go, so I may as well give my king some company, as well as defend a potential threat area. So he's going to put more pieces onto this. So I'm going to bring my rook here before they bring their rook there. This knight needs to be looking to find somewhere to go if the bishop's not going to take. Has he landed on anything with this queen move? So it's kind of tempting me to come here. I'm not really sure what that queen move is doing, apart from trying to put some pressure on here. It looks a bit odd. Knight can come here. We did want this knight doing something. But if we did move the knight, where does the queen go? Boom with a check on the king so then we'd have to come here in fact the bishop would do that and actually win the rook but if yeah they'd win the rook so we need to stop that and basically bring the bishop here that's a mass that's a good vision they've got isn't it i've just played a game where they just used some serious magic on me um Luckily we saw the magic, but it was a way advanced magic. Okay, so the queen's gone into the corner, still looking to target onto this particular area here. Our knight can now dance and attack the queen. It's got protection from the pawn. Um, I think we're going to do that. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Can't be wrong, can it? So he's going to have to adjust. Okay, so our bishop can now attack the queen. So it's going to struggle for places really, but I suppose it can go here as well. It's not really the ideal place for the queen. Is there anything else? Have they given us some other weak areas? I think I just want to attack the queen. You can always push down, I suppose, with the pawn. They might do that. Queen might be tired. Yeah, they've done that. Okay, right. So we're going to basically move the bishop back, I suppose. Can we get the queen with anything else? Not at this moment. Knight can put a check, but it gets taken. Yeah, I think we're going to have to just move it back a little bit. It's opened up a big space in front of the king, but you have to be able to do something about it. So now his knight's got spaces here, attacking our bishop. If we take, then his queen is then championing the diagonal again. Mm hmm could just attack the queen again the bishop takes queen takes take with the queen we're on his rook so he's gonna have to move his rook or he comes down for a check on the king to open up our king like in the one of the videos where we says when there's a check on the king there's always hope oh what is this 
What is this? A little delicate paw moves. What's he afraid of? Not much, I suppose. Okay, so we could come here and basically be attacking this pawn. Let's do that. And take this here. Maybe simplify, bring the rook here, put a bit of pressure on this pawn because we've got like, we'll have four pieces on there. <clears throat> Time's running down again. I need to be watching my clock. I'm getting too excited. So that's one one that they've put there. They can see it already. So they've got the queen, they've got the bishop, and they've got the rook. So they need one more, or they just push the pawn just to redress some sort of balance a bit. Then they'd get our knight if we did take. So we have to be mindful of that. So I think this pawn simply is going to push because, oh, okay. So if we went with the bishop, he doesn't have to take, he could then just bring his other rook here. Because then if we took the bishop, then his rooks are going to be on our queen. Interesting times. If we take with the knight, same sort of situation comes here. Time's running down, dude. Got to make a decision. I think it's because my queen's in front here. I don't think it's going to work. It's not going to work, is it? Must be something else. What about this rook pawn pushing onto here? Pawn pushes, pawn takes. But then he's on our queen again. I'm going to have to move my queen out of the way. I'm going to attack their queen. 56 seconds, all that thinking. Yeah, let's just get that out of the way. So we've got one, two, three on there. He's got three now. And maybe we're going for a fourth then, are we? That's it, it can just simply push, but we don't have anything on the night now, so we don't need to lose too much sleep. Let's go here. One, two, three. We've got four, so we would win out if he keeps it there. Like I said, it's better push in there because it's e Ooh, okay. So I'm trying to bring the knight in, so I'm going to attack the bishop. I'm going to take the bishop. Take the rook. Looks a bit sketchy now, doesn't it? Time wise, I'm down. Doesn't look like the right place for the knight. He needs to drop this pawn here. Excuse me. Oh, 
That's why I love zero increment. Well, it's empty showing a draw. Yeah, okay. 